Hello everybody. Yes, I got a haircut. So, today we're going to be doing a health bar over our enemies that shrinks down as we punch them or squash on them. And um, for fun, we're also going to make it a um, custom image, so to speak. So it's not just a square um, rectangle bar. So, let's go. Okay, first things first, I have made two textures, and I've dropped them in here. I have not done anything with them yet so that I can show you. Go to, let's see, Asset Actions. We're going to Bulk Edit via Property Matrix. In here, we need to go to our Compression, Compression Settings. We need that to be User Interface. Under Level of Detail, we need to go to Texture Group and set that to UI. Save, close, open that back up, and now we see that it has its transparencies and stuff, right? Cool, all right. Next, we're going to make a new folder called widgets. And in here, we're going to make a user interface widget blueprint, WBP health bar. All right, next go to your character blueprint. I'm gonna do this on the base character. Okay, go to viewport. We're gonna add a widget and call it health bar. No, we'll call it health widget actually. That's better. Health widget. That's not how you spell that. Health widget. There we go. Uh, move it up to there-ish, like 100 up. And over in draw size, we want it 100 by 16 pixels. I don't know if that actually matters because whatever you make your actual UMG out of seems to be what it shows, so whatever. All right, space, we want that to be screen. Widget class, set that to our health bar. We haven't made it yet, so it's nothing, nothing to do. So let's do that, let's do that first. Let's make our health bar. Open up, let's go to fill screen to desired on screen. In the canvas panel, we're going to drop a progress bar. We're going to name that over here to health bar. File and save. Size is 100, size Y is 16. Go down to style, we want to change the background and the fill image. So background, health, our health bar empty. And then this one is health bar full. Get on in here. There we go. Now we can see there's our background. And if I go to the percent, we want to turn off the animation. And you're going to see why is this black? Why is this not red? You want to go down to appearance, fill color, and opacity. This is going to be something stupid. You want to change that to one in the red. One, so the fill color and opacity is just a white, so it just passes through, and now we have our color. So, as we bump around this percent, you can see now we have a nice, funky, cartoony style progress bar. Next, I want to make an animation. We're going to call it Bounce. This is going to be when our buddy here kind of comes into the screen, so it doesn't just pop into existence. Um, we're going to add this. We're going to add a track of transform as well as render opacity. So for here at the zero point, we want zero. At 0.25, we want one. Open transform. You can't really see that. Sorry. Let me shift that over. There we go. Okay, under transform, we want to have our translation, and we want to start at a 15, then at 0.25, go to negative 15, which is upwards, and then at 0.5, come down to zero. So, whoop, you see, it kind of bounces up. Perfect. Come over to the graph for your UMG, get rid of all of that. We're going to create a new custom event called set progress. This guy needs an input, which is again behind my head. 
that doesn't that doesn't do anything all right so behind my head here actually check this out whoa there we go we have this little thing here so we're gonna change that to a float and um, we need this to be the percent that's what it'll be compile save and we'll move my head back to the corner first we're gonna take that health bar we're going to set the percent just like that but that's not everything that we need to do because we want to play the animation right so we're gonna play our animation right but we don't want to just play it forwards once and we also don't want it to go off with every single set process so what we need to do is create a branch not bounce that's the name of the animation and from the branch we're gonna do a do once and what we're going to do is take the percent check is it equal to zero if that whoop, if that is false we come into the do once and we play I cannot grab anything today we play the animation off the play mode get a select this boolean here will determine the forwards and backwards so at zero we're playing it backwards if it is false and we have health we're playing it forwards and then if we are dead we're gonna come through and we're gonna play the animation again which will be the reverse so there's our set progress that's how we're changing our health bar all right we need to come back to our base character class and I'm going to drink coffee <sighs> yeah all right and we need to um, do stuff every time the health changes. So we have this cool event from our gameplay ability system called on health changed. And because we are focusing on also having things be replicated properly over the network, we're gonna do this so that it can be on the network. So when we change our health bar, right? So this is going to be um, modify health bar multicast we want to do it on everybody's and make it reliable so that executes on all but it needs to be called by the server for it to do that so on the health changed we're going to get our health real quick there's something that I don't like um, in the code go to your hopper base character and right here these two guys get health get max health um, they're getters, but we did not set them as const. And so in Unreal Engine, it's going to have an execution pin going in. So you have to execute it in order to get the value. We don't need that. We can just make these blueprint pure, which is kind of unnecessary. This, uh, this thing right here. Um, cause if we just add const here, it does the same thing, but I'm going to do both so that it doubles it, you know, I don't know. So add const also after the um, implementations in your hopper base character CPP file. Okay, let's recompile and get back to the editor. Okay, back to the editor, we're going to get health and this should now be, there it is, yeah. Now it's a pure, perfect. Okay, so now we need to call this modify health bar multicast. By the way, that needs to have a parameter here, and I'm gonna call it server side health because this, um, what this does is it allows us to grab the health immediately from the server rather than wait for it to replicate down to the client. Um, there's a delay. So if we were to just grab the health off of our character on the client, and update our progress bar, The that will be called before the health replicates down from the server. So we won't see, we'll be one off um, from my testing. We punch and it'll show 100%. We punch and it'll show 66%. We punch again and it'll show 33% and we die. It's one punch off. So we're grabbing the health from the server, passing it into this multicast here. All right, after the modifying the health, we're gonna do a quick refactor on the hopper enemy. We're going to get rid of this call on hopper enemy and actually move it up to the base character. So that's where we will call 
on death. All right, off of this modify health bar, we need to actually do that. So we're going to get the health widget. We're going to get the user widget object, which is the actual widget inside of this component. We're going to cast to the WBP health bar. We now want to take our server side health and divide by our get max health. This is how we get our percentage. I made an error in one of my videos. Um, there's a reason why the um, <laughs> networking is not working currently. So we need to do rep lifetime u hopper attribute set max health. Max health was not replicating, and that's why um, client side for a second there was not working. Then we're going to call our set progress event on our health bar that we created and pass the percent in there. Okay, even though we are um, doing the little animation from uh, faded out to fade in, we want to do a uh, visibility change just to make sure, just to be certain we don't see the health bar before it's been updated. So uh, real quick, come in here and visibility set this to hidden. Go ahead and close it again. We don't need hopper enemy either. Okay. So after we set the progress, we're gonna do a do once and the health bar, we're going to set visibility. Come into here and on completed. So then off of our percent here, we're gonna check is it less than or equal to one. And then this is going to be a select. So doink. And if it is true, it's visible. If it is false, it's hidden. So this will modify health bar. We can give that a nice pinkish color and we should be good to go. Okay, if we go to net mode client, this will show that it's working over a server. There you go. It appears when we damage them, and it disappears when they burst. <laughs> I need to add a kill zone. All right, so just to go over everything again, come in here, set progress, health bar set percent, and this is how we're doing the forward and the reverse animation. We do a do once if we're not dead yet to play it forward, the false, and if we are dead, we just skip right ahead and we play it reverse backwards, and that's how it disappears. So, there you go. There's a little health bar that sits over the enemy, shrinks uh, as they get damaged and goes down, and then it disappears when they die. So, uh, I'll figure out what the next video is. Um, until next time, good luck. Found out that the truth was lies.